Yeah, I'm just waiting to sneeze. That's what's going on. It's here. Three, two, one, throw. What's up, everybody? My name is Michael A. Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and I thought I was going to sneeze again. That's what's going on there. Uh, this is a Metagame Minute, a weekly segment where we talk about something in this board gaming hobby that's been on our minds lately. And what I want to talk about is gimmicks and board games. We've talked about gimmicks and things before many times. Uh, and I want to talk about functional gimmicks. Uh, this is another way to say, like, when the gimmick works, where it's not just... Uh, that you're doing this thing and there's this weird contraption or device, but it actually helps the gameplay. Uh, so there's a couple of examples I want to talk about. One, I want to talk about Potion Explosion. It's a game where you're pulling marbles out and uh, based on the colors that come down this, like it has this whole big uh, chute essentially with these different lanes. And if I pull a marble out and two of the same marble come together in class, that calls, causes an explosion. You get to collect more and more marbles. And so it's a fun way to uh, tell if you're getting more marbles and stuff, but it's all satisfying because it just kind of feeds you more marbles down this contraption, makes everything nice and easy, and it really helps you kind of, um, really kind of feel the chain reaction that you're pulling off. You know, you're pulling this one thing and then those two marbles come and then when those next marbles drop down, those match and you get more marbles there. So it really helps satisfy uh, by the simple use of a bit of gravity and a spheroid uh, type objects that roll down, them's the marbles. Uh, another game I wanna talk about that has really functional gimmick and I think works really well and ties into the theming, I think really well. Potion explosions like chemicals and I don't know, potions, but I don't know, who knows, you're just trying to get the right colors, right? But a game that actually kind of works well and is also quite functional is Maglev Metro. This is a game where you are uh, living in a, a nearish future. Um, i trying to think if they gave us the, the year or not. It's a nearish future where um, magnetic levitation trains are, are the norm. They're everywhere now. They finally have taken off. Maybe California finally got its speed train via a Maglev Metro situation. <laughs> It'll never happen. Uh, but here you have like all these cool ways to get around using public transportation. And the way they've done it is you have all these magnetic trains that are sort of stacked on top of each other. All these different tracks are kind of going, you're kind of building vertical, you know, don't take up as much of a footprint. Um, and in the game, you're building out tracks as are your opponents. And you have these clear hexagonal pieces that will have a bit of colored line going either straight or to a curve that is your train track. And you're connecting to different stations and then moving people back and forth to stations, kind of a pick up and deliver game. Uh, and so I like it because they're clear. What you can do is I can build a route from one station to another, and then my opponent can build a, a route from that same station to that same station or starting off and then veering into a different direction to a different station. And we can just stack our tiles right on top of each other because the only thing that you're going to see is the track part. The rest is clear and it creates this awesome like display where you see all these colored tracks going everywhere. It's kind of like if you look at a map of a subway system, they say like this goes over here and this goes over here and there's line A and B and C. And it kind of recreates that in a really beautiful functional way where I, because we're not taking each other's space because in, in the game and the space of the world, we would be building tracks kind of up and everyone can operate freely. Um, it, it, it works really well with the th theming of the game because I can still see where all my pieces are. It's very easy to tell where I've laid track. It's also very easy for my opponents to see where they've laid track, whether or not we're going the same, uh, to the exact same spots or not. And so that's one thing I'm like, man, this gimmick is really neat because I was like, the first thing I saw was like, whoa, what are these translucent tiles? What's going on here? And then it works really, really well with kind of the theme of the game is that these tracks are really like virtually laid on top of each other and uh, everyone can kind of move around freely because it's the future and travel is easy for once. Um, so that's just kind of examples of a couple of functional gimmicks that I think are like really cool. Um, they work well, they improve the game to me. Um, despite being kind of a gimmicky thing. Uh, translucent tiles, you might look at it and be like, what's the joke here, whatever. And I'm like, no, this is actually really neat. <laughs> and I kind of like, makes me wonder what other games could we have translucent or semi-translucent pieces for, and how could we use that? There's, a, there's many other games that have done similar things, and I think it's just really cool. I love that, I love that. Uh, so that's a couple of examples. Let me know examples for you where you've seen something that you're like, this is kind of a gimmick, but it's functional. I'll tell you right now, the, the tree in Everdell, not functional. It's very cool. 
it, we, you, don't not, you don't need it, all right? Maglev Metro serves a function. So let me know about those functional gimmicks in the comments below. And just remember whether or not you love all the functional gimmicks or you want your gimmick to just be something that's rad that just sits there and doesn't do anything, the more meta, the more beta. Thanks so much for joining for another Metagame Minute. Make sure you check out Nick's Metagame Minute right there and make sure you check out another Brothers Murph video just down the way and above all else, make sure you subscribe because that's how you know when we have videos. And if you wanna support us, consider checking out our Patreon. I'll throw it out there. There's info just down there and in the description for this video. Hope you all have a good one.